everyone, welcome to the first video of 2021 on my channel. To celebrate this momentous occasion, I'm going to be reviewing NASCAR The King with his pit stop barrier. Now, I know what you're all thinking, Joel Quick Tire, it's just a normal king, why are you so excited to review it? And why would you choose this character to review since, I mean, he's we've seen him over and over again. Well, first off, I actually wanted to review him in 2021, but unfortunately that review, along with so many others, got delayed because of my trip to Branson. So yeah, there was that. And for, secondly, I actually finally have a normal king. Yeah, believe it or not, I never had a normal king. I got the silver version back in 2020, which is very cool, but it's not the normal version. And actually before that, I had these two mini races that were available in three packs. And funnily enough, I still don't have the uh, normal mini race of the king from the mini races line. And they also, I think they came out with a damage version as well. So yeah, the king has getting so many versions of him already. But yeah, so that's the reason I'm very happy. And I want to review this guy so that, you know, he's like a main character and, and we don't have to worry about him anymore. Now, another thing you might notice is that my background looks a little different. That's because I'm currently in the process of like changing stuff because these hockey players, they will not be there anymore. Ooh, let's not do that, Joel Quick Tire. Let's not do that. But yeah, as I was saying, these hockey players will not be in the background anymore. I do want to start fresh, so I want a new background. Aang from Avatar and Momo, they will be there though. I got these two for Christmas and the Funko Pops, by the way. So I just thought, why not put them in the background of my videos? I think that'd be sweet. So I'm in the process of working out what's going on in the background. Maybe the king will be in the background. I, I don't know. We'll just have to see what 2022 brings for us. But enough of all that, let's actually review the king and his pit stop barrier. We're not going to go over his appearance and releases. I mean, you already know where he appeared and you've seen him in stores multiple, multiple times. He's been pretty much released ever since 2006. And yeah, let's start on the king with the king himself. So first off, he has a nice, kind smile. Looking off to his left, our right, basically. You can see his mouth is painted in. You can see the Dynaco logo, which... Yeah, it looks very fuzzy, and I don't really like the Vietnam King, if I'm gonna be honest. I just think it looks very, very fuzzy, the decals, but anyways. 43 on the hood, very nice. We have these nice silver wheels, which are very, very shiny. And his constituency sponsors read, if my camera can focus. Let's zoom in on them. Violin, Mood Springs, No Star, Piston Cup, Little Torquey, Pistons, Gas Brain, Retread, and Easy Idol. So yeah, he does not have a lot of sponsors compared to the other Piston Cup racers, and they look very clear. Especially um, compared to some Thailand cars, and some recent Vietnam cars, I think this is the clearest the decals have been. You can see the 43, which very fuzzy looking, it's just not as clean cut. We have the Danico logo on both sides, yep. 43 on the roof, window bars. 43 and the back of the spoiler. The spoiler himself, which is basically a wing, <laughs> which is kind of very large and it does get bent as you saw with the damage version. Or well, if you have one, I don't have it myself. On the back we have Dynaco, 43s on either side. One of them is misaligned here. We have the silver ball, I'm not sure. Oh, bumper, I should say. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, there is the other side of him. And here is the base. This is email in Vietnam, the Pixar, blah, 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 all that copyright stuff. A Plymouth Superbird, 1970 Plymouth Superbird. So he is based off a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. And he's actually voiced by Richard Petty, who he, he himself, who he himself was actually called the king in real life because he won so many cups, I think. Kind of like the uh, college version of the king. So it's very cool that they base it on a NASCAR driver. And he voiced him as well, so that's awesome. And here is the little pit stop barrier. It says the king with the crown on top of the on top of the 43 on the right side. We have this nice red ball, kind of contrasting all the blue on him on his barrier. The side is pretty much blank. It's hollow on the inside, but it's a nice little display piece. So 
Actually, if you have like the um, um, what was it? What was it? The king's crew chief and pity. Like you could just easily do this and just make it look like a scene from the movie. So that's very cool. Cool. And that about does it for the review of these two themselves. Let me just pull them down so that you can see them better. Now we'll do some quick comparisons with for the king. So first off, here is the silver silver version that was released in twenty twenty. I'll leave the link to this one in the description below if you're interested in checking the, it out. But yeah, I mean, that's how clear the decals look on. This is a Thailand release, mind you, and they have clear decals. And the 43, I think I like the ooh, little slippery today. The 43 is a lot more cleaner than this. They look a little fuzzy. Obviously, the rims are different. 43. See, look how better the 43 looks on um civil version than it does on the uh, Vietnam normal version. Now, the contingency sponsors. Um, my camera can focus. I don't know why it's having trouble focusing today. Ooh, it's maybe too close. Okay, there we go. You see, look how blurry those look. I mean, those aren't bad. They look they're okay, but look how clear the, the contingency sponsors look on the Vietnam version. I mean, no soul actually looks decent. Uh, mood springs and Vitaline, eh, Pistol. Uh, mm, I think no soul is the only one that looks decent. <laughs> this, yeah, no. So Vietnam, they tend to do better with the smaller decals, but struggle with the big decals. Whereas Thailand's kind of the opposite. They nail the big decals, but struggle with those small little decals for some reason. Danico, forty three. On the spoiler was silverized, which is nice. Like bumper, see this is much better applied, better aligned, I should say. So yeah, that about does it for this comparison. I do prefer the silver one just because about the silver version. Plus, it has better decals for the, for the most part, aside from the sponsors. But yeah, ooh, ooh, let's not do that. Ooh, sorry, somebody something was about to fall, but thank God I stopped it in time. And here are the other Dynaco racers. We have Cal Weathers, his the king's nephew. And I like a Cruz Ramirez. So, nice little legacy. Oh, for Danico Racers. Uh, Cruz does actually have her own pit stop area for the NASCAR line, but I don't have it. I didn't bring it out. But, yeah, they look really cool together. And they changed the numbers three times. He went from 43, 42, to 51. And uh, Cal is actually based on of uh, the King's... No, Richard Petty's son, I believe? Um... Kyle Petty, I believe. I believe that is, that's his name. I, I could be wrong. Yeah, my, my cow isn't in the best condition. I got it from the Pistol Cup Race 11 pack, V1, and it came with this chip, unfortunately. And my Danica Cruz, yeah, very, very damaged. I should I should get a replacement for this one. But it's on the least priorities for now. There's that. And I'll just show some other Danica related stuff, like Tech Danico, reviewed him. I also reviewed Cal, so I'll leave the link in the description below for that review. Danico Miantia. Um, Danico McQueen. So let's see how the Blues match up. The Blues match up pretty pretty well. I do like the um the logo on McQueen. This looks a little cleaner in my opinion. No sponsors from McQueen. They look nice. Vietnam and China have very similar shades of blue. Finally, here we have NASCAR Cruise, which I have reviewed as well. Link in the description below if you want to check it out. Very cool. I do wish you got a redesign in the NASCAR Fire Pack. And this is how I actually got the King. I got him through this NASCAR Fire Pack that included this NASCAR Cruise. I do wish he was more different than just being a normal version of the King. I mean, look at this. Look how clear. Cruise's logo looks, in comparison to the King's, looks so fuzzy. I don't really like that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, um, now that I have the King. You know what's about to come? Yeah, you know what's coming. Yeah, let's go. I can finally recreate this scene. For so long, I had to use the Silver King, and this doesn't look right. So, super glad I have um, the King to finish off the three main... Racers and the three-way tie. So yeah, I did review these two as well, so you can search it up on my channel if you'd like. 
But I'm not gonna put them in the description because they have no kind of no correlation to the king. Actually, well, they do, but it's all not correlated. So yeah. And so yeah, that about does it for the review of the king. First review of 2022. Hope you all enjoy it and hope you're ready for the content that's coming soon to this channel. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more coming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Joe Quick Tayo signing out.